We are at Goodwill today and on the end cap I discovered this beautiful Daisy and Button mid-century tray. A little snack tray. It does have a little spot where you could put your cup. I originally would have came with an amber cup with it but at only two dollars. Of course I was bringing this home with me and I'm going to incorporate it into my own 70s decor. It just goes so great with my items I already have so I look forward to finding a spot for this soon. Oh, this is a beautiful piece up here. Asking $5. Appears to be a lily candlestick. There is some dark crazing throughout, which we call quality crazing. It's a nice crazing. I'm not seeing a maker on this. I'm not sure who would have made this. It does appear to be older and good quality, and I'm thinking that probably came as a pair. It seems like it would have been part of a set, right? Seeing lots of bunnies. <laughs> kind of in the wrong season for that right now, but they're pretty cute. This one here, it definitely seems newer. I like the look of them though. It's like a hair, right? Oh, Threshold. It's, that's like a Target brand, right? Yeah. I think that is Target. Got some like chunky glazing going on at his ear. This guy's kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> he has overalls on. <laughs> you can find a blue, a blue bones on him. Yeah. He's got gingham. That's pretty, yeah. pretty cute. He's what's he? What is that? Like just a little vase? What has like a hole? Uh, you can do that know. like flag decor or something, right? Yeah, I do the flags. Or... That's kind of cute though, isn't it? How often are you going to find a goose with some overalls on? It's just in the glaze. That's how they made it. They didn't paint it over it. I don't know. He's kind of fun. What do you think of him? Look at this rabbit, like, picture here. I don't know. Is it supposed to be for, like, tea? Like a teapot? It's pretty big. Oh, it's threshold too. What did I say? Picture base. No, it definitely has target logo Yeah. This doesn't, this almost looks like a hand painted ceramic piece. That's fun. Apparently, I did not shop at Target when those came out because I don't remember them. Does that look like an older, like, hand painted ceramic piece? It does kind of look like What do you think about Mr. Goose? You want him? I think you should try him. You want to get him? Grab him. Grab him. <laughs> <laughs> And she's sweeping. This is adorable. Just cats. I'm really a cat person, but I like the little broom on it. These are those faux hummels, but I actually kind of like them. That's cute. There's no price on it. Yeah, if it's a real hummel, say like Goble on the bottom usually, or hummel. Goble's like G-O-E-B-E-L. So she was unmarked. I asked at the register and they gave her for $2 to me. I've had quite a collection starting up here with these little people figurines that are doing kind of like homemaking or homesteading task and I'm really enjoying them. So here's a little bit of some of the other ones I've picked up recently. Little 80s teddy bear. Are they playing pool? Table. <laughs> I think I like this. It doesn't have a price. Are they gonna give me a hard time about the price? Some people are like, we have to put this out back. Oh, this is an owl on it. <laughs> Our dear little boy. Yeah, it's like it's a little wobbly. The price, yeah, price import. Ten. Ten buckaroonies. She's wobbly. <laughs> Look at this fancy schmancy milk glass. Twenty bucks. Looks like Fenton. Usually not. Fenton's not marked like ever, I swear. But it's like hobnail. Fenton hobnail basket, twenty bucks. Not bad. Let's see. Got a little graduate here. 
1983. Cute. What is, is this brass? Yeah, that's brass, isn't it? I think so. I'm trying to, is it a dog or a rabbit? Or is it a donkey? A donkey don't sit like that. It's more like a rabbit back, though. You know what I mean? Like, a donkey's not going to look like that in the back, is it? What is it? Because it looks like a donkey face, but kind of rabbit ears. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a bunny. That's interesting. How much is he? Five bucks. Is anybody going to love you? Does somebody love you? It's a maybe. All right, nesters, I need your help. I did end up picking him up for $5. I figured someone would really love him. People really love their brass. See, face too, he looks like a donkey to me. When I turn it sideways, it kind of looks like a bunny. So tell me if you're team bunny or team donkey down in the comments or maybe something else entirely. Help me out. I need to know what to list this for, okay? <laughs> Thank you. We rejoice in our sufferings, which produce endurance, character, and hope. Romans 5, 2, 3. South Dakota. You might not get there, but you can have a plate. Hey, look at that. The Badlands. <laughs> what is wall drug? What is that? <laughs> so it should be. Something else we can check out when we can. Enco, Japan. Isn't that a chip right there? On the bottom? Yes. How dare you? A little bit of the coal paint's coming off to you. It's not horrible. Is it on top of this one? No, it was sitting back there. Oh, you like that? Skip it because of the chip. A little bit of lusterware here. Oh, you can hang it up? That's interesting. Two bucks. I'm trying to figure out how to hang it up with two holes. So you can either hang it like this way or this way. Or that. Do you want to want the string? It must go around the back somehow, right? I'm just trying to think, yeah. think how they. You put like a knot. Around it. I don't know. It's different. With <laughs> it just depends how you want to hang it. I don't know. Or maybe it had like a little thing going on here, like a little. Spoon. Oh, maybe it's like a bas. It might have been a basket handle. Maybe it was like a little, I don't know. Like a little praying girl. We sold something very similar to this. Like for our first Etsy item we ever sold. Remember that? Yeah, the chain yeah. picture? Yeah. I'm trying to think. It, it was very similar. I don't think it was this praying girl that it was similar. I'm gonna have to grab this just because of that. <laughs> it's cool too. I like it. Cat's Mia's. No found grace. Tins back here. A little deer scene. A log cabin. It's kind of cute. Forest. That guy. Some flowers. Little valley. Cashmere, Washington. Two thousand ten. It's not as old as it looks. It looks a little. At least it looks nineties, or even. This one's cool. It has like the log cabin and the deer. It's in pretty good shape too. There's no barcode on it, so it's kind of nice. Oh, we did end up deciding on picking up this beautiful, absolutely stunning tin. It has the Christmas tree peeking out of the log cabin there, beautiful scenery around the side, and of course those awesome deer on the front line. This is something you could really pick up in your local thrift store. Really great for Christmas gifts instead of doing like gift bags. I think it's a fun idea. Look at this. It's nice. So this first one I'm picking up is a little bit scratched. It's very minor. It's kind of very lightly scratched, and I think there's a way to shine that up. And let's check out this one here. I think this one is in much better shape. I'm not seeing scratching in that. And they're asking for a piece on those. Very mid-century, very 1970s. 
We did decide to bring them home with us at only $8 for the set. It was hard to pass up. I got to look into what I can find to kind of shine up that brass where it's just lightly scratched on one of them. Here are some Arcarock France pieces. They kind of look like depression glass. They remind me of the Jeanette swirl pattern, actually. Oh, this is really pretty. It's kind of like a crystal piano. The back pattern reminds me of a very modern piece, but it's it's nice. It's kind of interesting with a the mirror there. This is kind of cool. A little music box. Looks like it was a Mother's Day present some year. Oh, how pretty is this? That is stunning. $10 on it. I believe this to be Turkish glass. That is a really stunning piece, and I believe the bottom has silver on it as well. I think they go for around 15 so I'm probably going to pass on it, but it's so beautiful. I hope someone comes along and can enjoy that piece. They have this really sweet Holly Hobby decanter. And now, I thought Holly Hobby was from the 70s, but the colors make me think it's actually from the 80s, so... Not sure on that. They're asking five, and I was checking it over. Unfortunately, some of it was peeling off. It looks like there might be another Turkish bowl on the bottom. A nice iridescent shell there if you're into the kind of beach decor. This is a pretty vase. It has like an animal print to it. It needs to be modern to me based on what the bottom look like. A little souvenir piece. Niagara Falls, Canada. Wow, a lot of crazing in that. You'll find a lot of these types of collector's plates and the Holly Hobby stuff as well. And I just thought this was so precious. It was giving me Little House on the Prairie vibes, right? It looks like Laura and Mary making some cookies. <laughs> $5 on it. Really sweet. I really love wholesome decor like this. I did end up picking up the plate and it just reminds you of simpler times when you look at the imagery and I just think it's a little bit warmer and it makes your home just a little bit cozier to have pieces like this sprinkled throughout. These were kind of fun. They are all Kentucky Derby glasses from years past races and has a lot of the horses that were racing there. For the winners, it's going to look like all the winners of the past years. Really fun. I had a Kentucky Derby party I hosted one year just before I had kids. It was a lot of fun. We don't really know anything much about racing horses, but it was a good time. I made some good food and had good company, so it was fun to dress up. <laughs> Highly recommend. These might have been fun to kind of have for the party if I had thought that I wanted to have another one, which I might in the future, but they're $5 a piece and they didn't seem to be reselling for much more than that. There's quite a few there. Little jelly jar. These are fun. <laughs> $2 on that guy. Cute little copper mugs. This was a really pretty glass votive holder is what I believe it was. Seemed to be excellent quality. I don't know the maker of it, but at $2, that was a good, definitely a good little deal there. Lots of mugs. <laughs> oh, man. A lot to sift through. Sometimes you can find some real gems. I do try to find ones that are maybe a little bit more unique, have fun sayings. Or I don't ever really find the Starbucks ones that can be a little bit more valuable. And oh, this one's fun too, the Gettysburg. I like this. That's a really cool one. It's kind of historic. Someone that's very specifically into kind of that niche would really enjoy this piece, I think. And it is vintage Japan. Ooh, the inside's beautiful. I might grab this one. I feel like this is the advice everybody gives to new moms. I know I got it from a few places myself. The days are long, but the years are short. It's very, very true. It's so amazing and a little sad how quickly they do grow, right? Only $2. I feel like this is a good mug to grab. 
I love I love the way they designed the lettering. I spy a main mug back here I wanted to check out. <laughs> it seems to be pretty good quality. It's made in China, but it, it seems almost like a restaurant wear type. Only $2. The prices on their mugs are very good today. Have you ever seen this type with a tea bag holder on the outside? They're kind of interesting. I feel like I don't really reuse my tea bags though. I really like this coffee mug. It was peppered with dad, 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 dad all over it. And that's why I didn't pick it up because it seemed pretty specific. I don't know, you know, if there's a specific dad that's into Siberian tigers, but if it was just a tiger mug, I was definitely going to grab it. I just wasn't sure with the very narrow uh, aspect there. They had this Lilo and Stitch Disney mug here. They did have that priced up at $5. It does seem to be a little bit better quality. They can see it was Disney there. And I did look that up. It seemed to be going all over the place, like $6 to $15. So what we are looking at here are some discontinued Bath and Body Works candle holders. Little Halloween cats. They had five a piece on them. Now the discontinued Bath and Body Works stuff actually sells pretty decently. And at $5 a piece, I figured it might be worth to take a chance on them. We of course are coming to the end of the season for selling this kind of stuff, but I think I'm still going to list them. And just like Christmas sells year-round, I feel like there's a person that likes Halloween year-round as well. And yeah, they're selling for about $40 to $50 a piece. I might just go ahead and list them together and see what it does. We'll glance real quick on our way out and see what they have for some books. This is some type of a organizing home decor kind of book. Just by judging on the pictures, I would say it's probably from around the 90s. I'm sure it's filled with lots of great, helpful information. Nice coffee table book. Book about golf. <laughs> it's probably a good one for somebody. Book up there. Looks kind of interesting. Hamlin Children's History of Birth. So this looks like kind of a good history book to pick up for our homeschooling in the future when we do more like world study stuff. So I like the graphics in it. Seems like a good one. So I did go ahead and pick this one up as well. I also found this vintage 1985 butterfly and caterpillar science book. Just has a nice little step-by-step, -step, easy to understand process of what happens. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe if you're not subscribed. I really appreciate it and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.